incredibly gloomy. And if I didn't have to do some grocery shopping, I would definitely stay home. I'm going to use a primer today because I am also going to use some concealer and stuff and I wanted to stick to my skin better especially since it's somewhat rainy I also want to do my nails today so I'm not gonna do much today just a concealer for under my eyes and a Fenty ease drop the old one i know they have a new one i don't have it yet we're going to germany in a while and they have a sephora in germany and that's where i'm going to get it because i don't just i have some discoloration here everybody knows it and a little here so that's what i'm going to conceal of course I'm using my fingers normally I would use a brush but we're doing this as fast as possible so I'm going to Germany and because I'm going to Germany I can go to Sephora we don't have a Sephora here and I don't want to buy Fenty products online because I don't know my color yet see I conceal it a little but not too much because I don't want to look too caked up so what I'm doing now is my eyes first before I put on this Wait, this is all of the eye makeup that I have except for the palettes I mean if you love a product why would you have 6,000 other ones that you're not using? If I had the space, if I had a very large house, I would, I guess, I think. I don't know. Uh, this one is almost empty. It's from Essence False Lashes Extreme Volume and Curl. I literally have three more because i love it so much but i got a lot of new ones this one damn girl from too faced this one from iconic they're all so good and the bobby brown smoky eye mascara none of them are waterproof so so I got this top coat from uh, NYX and this top coat is supposed to make your mascara waterproof. So I'm gonna use other mascaras, just not today. I don't feel like it today. I'm gonna start using other mascaras and waterproof it. So what do you think about this mascara? Look at this eye compared to that one. Doesn't it do a lot? I think it does. So I just dab it on a little. And my neck, my face is darker than the rest of my body because that's the only place that always gets sun so I really need to add less color to my face blend it in in my neck area 
and hope for the best. See, I'm blending it and it's literally just a little, how do I say it? It's a little blurring effect of all of the discolorations that I have. And that's what I'm going for. I don't need my face to look like a perfect canvas. I just need to blur out a little of my imperfections. I have lots of ambulance. I have lots of freckles around this area. I have discolorations here. I have large pores here. And I had acne for the longest time. And that's why my face looks like a bad feel. And all I've done is try to make it look as healthy as possible and not worry about acne scars. And it really helped. Because now I don't really care about acne scars and how I look. And because I feel like that, I reflect it on the outside. You have to just take care of your inside. Believe in yourself, love yourself, and then everything else just turns out great. So this is my base. This is everything I'm going to do. And this is everything I usually do when I go to work or when I go out to do some errands. There are cases when I don't care at all and then I just put on a cap, do nothing with my face, just moisturize and everything and I just put on a cap, don't cut my hair. A cap covers like this whole part of your face. Right now I did everything to prevent me from looking like I just woke up and nothing else. The only thing I still need is my lip hydration drop. And a really sticky drop that hydrates my lips. My lips are so much better than yesterday. Yesterday they were really crunchy and I did the whole moisturize your lip thing. So now I only need to put the lip hydration and I'm going to top it off with a wet look lip gloss. This is not too shiny. It will look shiny in the beginning, but after like 10 minutes, it's hardly noticeable. I do have a lot to work with, so yeah. This is the end result. Nothing too flashy. And now I'm just going to throw on some jeans because it's raining. Jeans boots, a sweater, and a coat that can get wet. That's it. If you want to feel like a woman, put in some earrings. So that's what I'm doing. woman not so much of a woman <laughs> I have to do something with my hair because I cannot walk with the shopping trolley and an umbrella so I gotta put on my um, my hood and that won't work if my hair is up so I'm just going to put my hair down side part yeah, side part. Middle part. I'm gonna do middle part. Sounds about right. <laughs> Looks about right. I gotta take advantage of my hair being straight right now. I straightened my hair to cut off the dead ends. And when my hair is straight, I can go through it with a comb and with a brush. Cause usually when my hair is in its curly state, I cannot pull off just combing my hair or brushing my hair. So this is really going to help me when I want to put on my hood. 
I don't do baby hairs. I think it looks ridiculous on me. Anything on my forehead. This is my forehead. I don't want baby hairs all the way here because they're not there. Why would you, you know, that's me. That's It's my head, my hair. I have to walk around with it. So I outrank anybody when it comes to me. Let's go outside. It smells like wet dog in here. That's the one thing I don't like about autumn. Let's make a list about what we like about autumn and what we hate about autumn. Let's do that. So first of all, everything smells like dog when it rains. Second, of course, the rain. It always rains, it's so dark, it's so wet. Always. always. <laughs> a lot of things that we are going to need for Christmas Christmas decorating the the ginger houses like uh, frosting white and pink of course I also found a lot of these like different see different sprinkles to put on the ginger houses I bought these tiny marshmallows to stick on the house or in the frosting because it won't stick on the house. And then the rest of the groceries are just regular groceries. I did find two of these. These are really handy to put my coffee beans in because when I open up a full pack of coffee beans, there's always so much left and sometimes I want to switch from you know coffee beans that are really strong the espresso beans to mild coffee beans but to myself I'm not going to to buy a lot of fruit and strawberries so I also got some salad stuffings really going to eat more salads definitely eat something that you really love in moderation so just a tiny portion of french fries with lots of protein and veggies is going to make me a you know completely happy person so i'm gonna put all of this away and i'm going to prep for my mom my mom is coming in 30 minutes i'm gonna do some admin with her and after, or maybe when she's here, I'm going to ask her to help me with the lamp. Because it's actually not as dark as it was this morning. So I'm going to do the lamp while she's here. Then I have somebody who's going to, you know, help me if I fall from my letter. <laughs> I took out the invisible bubble. I really want to make sure that nothing is pulling my hair because I still have a tiny bit of a headache and I want to enjoy my Sunday and not have to take any pills or anything so it helps to not have any restrictions. <sighs> now I gotta wait for my mom.
Okay, we're back. As I said earlier, I got a PR package. I ripped off my address because, you know, privacy. But this is the package that I got. I got it from Influencer. Influencer is this site that you can leave your reviews and you can get reviews from real people. And if you sign up to the site, if you're a member, they will send you PR packages. And this is one of them. So let's open it up together. It's Chloe Eau de Parfum, 50 milliliters, 1.6 ounce. It's a full size. Look how beautiful it is. I wish you could smell it together, but I'm gonna do my best to describe to you what it smells like. It's a couple of hours later. When I sprayed the perfume, the first thing I thought is, this is a really fresh, youthful scent. It's so fresh. It, it smells like I don't know, fresh in a good way. Not fresh like fabric softer or anything like that. Real fresh and not too flowery. Absolutely soft, very feminine. Now it smells less fresh and warmer. It smells so warm. Oh my God, I love it. I think I smell vanilla. Today I'm going to try this frozen dinner. It's jackfruit, it's completely vegan, so let's see what it really looks like. You only have to put it in the microwave for 12 minutes. Ooh, 12 minutes is a long time. It's deep frozen, so... It kind of looks okay, but I usually add some pepper, salt, stuff like that. And I usually don't like to eat frozen rice. I like fresh rice, but it looks a little like the picture. So let's heat it up for 12 to 15 minutes and see what it looks and tastes like. This is what it looks like now that it's out of the microwave. I have to say that it smells really good. I'm gonna try it. It does need a little more salt. That's basically all it needs, just more salt. After adding some extra salt, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it tastes really fresh. I mean, it's deep frozen and I guess they added only fresh ingredients to it. It could use a little pepper too, but that's personal. I'm back. I just took a shower. There is a tiny little hint of the perfume left on my skin and I showered 
with shower gel, scented shower gel and everything. So that is remarkable. It's Eau de Parfum Natural Feminine. I just did not expect it. That's why I love it. It has jasmine in it. I love jasmine. And jasmine is a very subtle scent when you put it in perfume. So um, let's see. Complex Rose Velvety Accent of Jasmine Vanilla Extract Floral Hearts Amber Tones so I was spot on with the vanilla It's such a beautiful uh, scent for the winter It really is a winter scent um, I couldn't really place it because it's not that flowery but it's kind of a heavy jasmine because of the amber and because of the vanilla you don't really smell a lot of flowers in it but it's a great scent it's very light and that's perfect for winter because you don't want to have all of your clothes on and have a heavy scent underneath it well this is my honest opinion oh my god i totally forgot one thing i totally forgot to show you one thing and this is the lamp we managed to put it together my mom and i these are the other two as you can see it's perfectly aligned all three are the same you can hardly see the lamp in the back but it's there and then you have this one and now this one is the same so I'm very happy with that So that was the lamp, the latest addition to the living room. And right now I'm going to enjoy my kombucha and watch another episode of the series that I'm watching on Netflix. Thank you so much for spending the weekend with me. I loved every second of it. My headache is completely gone, thank God. And I, I gotta sleep early to be able to work in the morning without being grumpy. It's better for everyone. So. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.